Hey, what's happening, guys? If you look at the screen, well, you're probably looking at the screen because you're watching YouTube. But you can see this strange wave pattern in front of you, which is in fact reacting to the sound of my voice. And you can see frequencies from 50 hertz up to 20k. And this is basically an audio spectrum analyzer, and it works on your phone. I think it's pretty cool. I was watching a YouTube video a couple weeks ago when I ran across this thing. I honestly can't remember whose channel I saw it on. I really wish I could. But uh, I thought, hey, that could be useful. I mean, it only deals with audio frequencies, but that could be useful. So I thought I would show it to you and uh, do a little demonstration. So here we are looking in the uh, Google Play Store. And you can see the app is called Frequency, like see with your eyes at the end of it, by Daniel Bach. And uh, that's odd. There we go. Frequency Frequency Analyzer. Uh, very cool app, free. So let's uh, test it out. Okay, so the frequency works with your Android phone, and it works through the internal or an external microphone. Which means you could probably, you know, put a, uh, uh, you know, a jack from a, uh, a line source into there. You're not going to want to put anything high power into there. But there is no way, as far as I know, to access it through any sort of USB interface or anything like that. So what we have hooked up here for our little demonstration is we have the uh, arbitrary waveform generator and we have the oscilloscope. And what you can't see behind me are my computer speakers, which is what we're going to put the audio through. So, oh, well, you guys can see that. We have a sine wave being generated at one kilohertz, one volt, peak to peak. So if I take the output from there and connect it to my oscilloscope, always connecting the grounds first, we should be able to see that one kilohertz sine wave. Okay, so there's our one kilohertz sine wave. That's 200 millivolts. Everything looks good. Now, if I adjust our frequency, there's, there's 1K, 2K, 3K, you get the idea. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a separate pair of jumper cables and attach them here to our connections. And I am going to attach that to the input for the computer speakers. There we go, ground first. And if I can get my little fingers in here, here comes the sound. So there is our 1K sine wave. See the peak? Now if I change it, 2K, 5K, Ten K. Maybe you guys can hear ten K, but I sure as hell can't. Let's go back down. So there it is at one K. You don't need to hear a sine wave playing in your ear while we talk. But I wanted to show you that, and I think it's very cool. You know, um, spectrum analyzers are not cheap, and uh, this is a nice way to get an easy-to-use spectrum analyzer that should handle all of your. Uh, home laboratory experiments. What do you think? Cool? I like it. Anyway, I just wanted to share it with you today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.